Good evening, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing so far? And uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about around advice, which is a very very powerful advice, because you can change. You got you in the around advice. You can change the arguments. Actually, pass to the real methods. You can stop or read through the exception, which uh, are thrown inside the real method. You can also change the value actually returned by the real method. So you can do uh, lots of things, okay, which is uh, using around advice. So let's go through the code. I'm gonna continue using this demo, okay, LP demo. And uh, here, let's create some example. Suppose we create a method called uh, calculate. Uh, calculate uh, payment and we give double here and we give a double weight uh, int uh, hours okay and then we have to go to our implementation to actually implement these methods right and what I'm gonna do here is first I'm gonna system out uh, rate plus rate and plus hours plus hours which is the uh, the parameters or arguments received inside the calculate payment and uh, for the return the value i'm just using hours multiply the rate okay i think no one has questions so far and uh, in why in our app what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the uh, customer service dot calculate the payment and the rate let's use in 20 the value we uh, the hours let's suppose we work for five hours and double payment okay equals and here i will uh, output the payment okay if we run the application now we should get the payment is how much how much 100 right multiply very simple so far so this rate the output is uh, printed out by this one and this payment is a result returned by here right but if we add a round advice, we can change the values passed into the calculate payment method. We also can change the values actually returned by the calculated payment method. We can change this one, not based on the, the values we passed it here. So how to do that? For the around advice, you must return object. Okay, it's different from others. See, other is void. This one must return object, and we have around a device. Okay, and for the around a device, the first argument must to be proceeding join point, which is uh, pro proceeding join point is uh, uh, an uh, extends from the join point. Um, but for join point in other device type, it's optional. If you need just use them, it's optional. Proceeding join point is not optional. You must have this one here. And next one, we add around advice type execution. We will return any kind of type. And here I will using customer service dot this part is optional dot calculate payment. And uh, the first one is a double. The second one is int, right? This is a match our method definition, which is the one here, right? Double and int. Okay, so when we call the method, it will go to this around device. And from other, uh, since this proceeding join point extends from here, you can actually get the arguments. What is arguments? Which means you can get the 20 and five. Okay, how to do that? join point dot 
get arguments. And we will outprint uh, arguments in around a device plus argument first one and plus argument second one. Okay, suppose now I return. Okay, so if you just write around a device here, when we run the application, it won't make a call to this one. When we using around a device, you must manually to make a call to the calculated payment. Okay, if we just write like this one, you won't see this statement. Okay, let's let me run and show you. Ah, uh, two, it should be one here. Okay, sorry, should be one here. Run one more time. Okay, take a look at. So when we call the calculate payment, okay, and since we have around a device, it will call it will get into the around a device, okay? In the around a device, it will have argument in around a device. See here? But uh, you cannot, you can see, after this one, this is the returning, okay? This is the log after, let me, this is because of this one, after. And then you can see there's no output here, which is uh, this statement, right? No output for this one, see here? This is because in the around advice, we haven't make a call to the real method. You have to do it by yourself. Um, and again, see, take a look at this one. Even though here we didn't make a call to the calculate payment, but uh, here the payment has a value. The reason for that is when we have around advice, Whatever returned in the around a device gonna be the result for this method. So here you can see payment is a 30, right? And now next one, how to call the around a device, uh, how to call the real method in around a device, you have to using the proceeding join point, dot proceed. And uh, when we call this one, you have to catch the exception or you want to rethrow. Here, I just using catch, okay? Mm. And uh, in this exception, you can do, you can rethrow an exception or you can stop the exception as you want. And uh, when we call proceed, when we call proceed, which when we call this one, it's gonna make a call to the calculated method at a runtime. So if we want to get the value actually returned by calculate payment, what you can do is uh, here, let's use an object. Oh my God, result. and uh, result equals this one. So whatever returned here gonna be returned by this method. And you get a result. And here we can system out the result. We can have a result here, okay? And if I return result here, then it's gonna be result returned by this method. So payment gonna be exactly result returned by the real method. So now if I run, you will see 100 payment, okay? 
see here. First, when we call this calculated payment, it didn't directly go to this method. Okay, it didn't it did it didn't go to I want to go to it didn't go to this calculated payment, the implementation method. Because we have a round advice, so it will go to your around advice. You know, around advice first, we get the arguments. Okay, arguments in the around advice get a one and a two, which is a 20 and a five, and which is the value you passed in from here. And the second, when we call join point proceed, this one will make a call to the real method, which is it's gonna make a call to here. So you will see red and hours. See here, you will see red and hours. And after the return, it's gonna go back to this part. So the return the value gonna re uh, hold by the result. And that, that's why in the uh, result around advice, you will see 100. See here, result in around advice, it's gonna be 100. And this uh, log after executing is because another after this uh, advice. And after everything is done, you return, right? When we return, this payment gonna be hold the value returned from the around the advice. So it's uh, 1000, uh, sorry, 100. But now if I make some change, okay? So here, uh, the argument, uh, 1 and 0 is 20 and 5, right? Now I change arguments 0 equals 100. That's using 30, okay? And arguments 1, I change we worked for 9 hours, okay? So I will not directly call, I will pass arguments here. Okay, I pass this argument here. So whatever I received here is not 20 and 5, it's gonna be 30 and 9 because I changed the arguments passed into the real method. And also for the result, I don't want to give the result returned from here, which is 180, right? I want, you can also change the result to be something else like a 60. Okay, so if I run now, you will feel something is uh, weird. Okay, see here. Okay, first, when I in the app, when I call this one, okay, it will gonna go to our aspect around the device. It will gonna go here. Okay, so it will receive the arguments 20 and 5. The 20 and 5 is passed from the app. Okay, 20 and 5. You will see here 20 and 5. But in the real method, in the real method, I have a rate and hours, right? Here is not 20 and, uh, 20 and 5. See here? Rate is 30 and 9. The reason for that is because when I call proceed, I change the arguments. See here, I change the arguments actually passed to the real method. And uh, the result will hold the value which returned by the real method. Oh, sorry, returned by the real method. It should be uh, 270, right? So in my log aspect, you will see result in the around the device, which is this result. Yes, 200 and 70. But in my app, the payment is not the one. The payment is a 60. Okay, you pass 220 and 5, but you receive 60. The reason is because of our around advice, because I changed what the result gonna be returned. This gonna be result you gonna received for the payment. So, that's the around advice, okay? Around advice is really, really powerful. You can change the arguments passed to the real method, and you can change the value actually returned by the method, okay? So, 
uh, that's it for the around. And if you have any other questions, you can leave a comment below. I will try my best to answer. Okay. And uh, if you want to have the source code, you can go to the description to download the source code from the GitHub. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.